Hello there and welcome back to my channel. My name is Theodora Ibekwe Oyebade, for those who do not know me. Today we're going to be talking about an important topic. This topic is very close to my heart. And this topic is bullying. Yes, you heard me, bullying. Bullying is something that happens every day and everywhere in the world. But today we're going to be concentrating or talking about bullying with the youth. It happens in their school every day. It happens online every day. So please, please listen to this topic today. It is very important. First of all, for those who do not know what bullying is, it's an intentional behavior which is typically repeated by the perpetrators and that hurts, harms, and also humiliates a student, either physically or emotionally, and can happen while at school, in the community, and online. It is very serious, and it makes them lose their self-esteem. So, right. Before I proceed, I would like to hear, or rather, let's all hear what Tina is going to say about bullying. Hello everyone. Today I will be talking about the impact of bullying. In schools, at places of work, in the society all over the world. Bullying happens every day to millions of people. People get bullied because of their look. Some people get bullied because of their race. Some people just get bullied because some other, other people feel intimidated by them. I, want, I have a message for you today. You the bullies. Stop it. A lot of people are being physically and mentally, psychologically affected by bullying in our society. Some people have committed suicide because of bullying, especially the celebrities, the power of the media. I want to say to you, you're the victims. Don't allow people to validate your opinion or your look. This world is a very competitive world. And everybody has the opportunity, have the opportunity to become who you want to be. So, Believe in yourself, trust your struggle, you will get there at the level you want to see yourself by the grace of God. And to you, the bullies, you don't know where life is going to take you in future. Your victims may become your boss, Important figures in the society, and they will not forget that. Parents I have a message for you. Discourage your children from bullying others. It's not a good thing because they say charity begins at home. If not, they will go grow up as adults in the society, bullying people at place of work, their subordinates. Even going ahead to intimidate people for nothing. Hi guys, we've just heard from Tina Giba. And Tina spoke on the impact of bullying. Tina said, bullying happens in schools, places of work, in the society and all over the world. And that is correct. She said it happens to millions of people. Tina also said she has a message for the bullies. 
and that message is stop it stop it and she has another message for the victims she said don't allow people to validate your opinion or look believe in yourself yes she's right believe in yourself do not lose your self-esteem because of one stupid bully all right pick up yourself they cannot do anything right now let's listen to sylvia link sylvia link is also on youtube go to sylvia link and subscribe she has so many stories so many topics to talk about and you will not regret going there so right now go to sylvia link let's listen to her and see what she has to say hello everyone this is sylvia link you're welcome to my channel this is the day the lord has made and i will rejoice and be glad in it something just woke me up this morning and i begin to say after watching a clip yesterday night that i say wow what is this it's bullying it's about bullying i ponder and i wonder why so much bullying in our society in short, why so much bullying in our school? In our primary school, in our secondary school, the university also. So much bullying. So much bullying. And you know, you know what bullying does to children? You know what bullying does, does to our young adults? It makes them retrieve. It brings them that self-esteem. It makes them to begin to look at the society as, as if the society is against them. It doesn't give them self-confidence. In short, sometimes they might even turn up to be something more stranger than, than, than you can imagine. Bullying is a very bad thing in our society. It's a very bad menace. It's a very bad phenomenon that is moving around the whole society now. And nobody is addressing it. Yes, I see many clips, people addressing it, stop bullying, so much advert on bullying and all that. But it should be clamped down. Especially in the secondary school. If a friend of mine, her daughter said, Mommy, I'm not going back to school. And she said, Why? Is it because I'm being bullied? A girl of 14 years old, she's being bullied. Just because she's fat. Why? It's wrong. Why are we creating so much funny, funny? I mean, it's like the society is creating children who are not giving tax on other, on other children and making them feel bad about themselves. Making them so, so so withdrawn. The one that really made me shed tears, that made me to do this video was, I saw, and there was a, a film that was reacted about a young girl, in just a senior-old girl who died. She killed herself because she was being bullied. The video clip from her phone escapes to other people, and the, the students in the school... I mean, made it so open that she became so withdrawn. She cried all day. She lost so much weight. And finally, she took her own life just because she could not stand this anymore. These are young adults. Their hearts are young. They cannot handle matters. The government should do something about it and clamp down on this thing about bullying. It's a menace. I mean, the law should be ignited about this bullying. And also, even in the primary school, you can also see this thing happening. Children being bullied also. There's nothing, I don't, I don't know why the society is being, is being, is being, is, I mean, what is happening? Where did these children even get these kind of ideas from? Is it from the society? Is it from their parents? Is it from friends? Where are they getting all these ideas from? Please, something should be done about this thing. The government should clamp it down. The government should clamp this thing down. Called bullying. It's a menace. Bullying should be clamped down both in your university primary and secondary school thank you and remember bless your your comment is being welcomed also go ahead and subscribe thank you hi guys we've just listened to sylvia link first of all sylvia link says subscribe to her channel so just go to sylvia link and press the button and that's it now she also said that it's a bad thing to bully she said also it makes them withdrawn. That is correct. She said the government should do something. She also said she's wondering 
where they are getting these bullying ideas. Honestly, <laughs> it's food for thought. You, we need to think about it. I don't even know where they get these ideas and just bully people. Because I remember when my husband said when he was in school, in the secondary school, he was being bullied. He told me that, you know, yeah. And, you know, that, uh, you know, made him scared all the time. Even going to school, he, he became scared, you know, even though he was very intelligent. So please, please, if you're doing it, stop. It makes them withdrawn. You never know what these people will be tomorrow. And you'll be facing them. If you remember what you did in the past, you'll be scared. Now, the most important aspect of this bullying I want to talk with the kids about the kids is right now because of the lockdown and the pandemic or rather the situation of the world everyone is on social media social media right and that is a another place where you have bullying social media bullying i'll tell you one of the things to do one of the steps to take when you are bullied on social media block the person straight away and report them to the social media site because if you block them they can no longer communicate with you and if you report them to the social media site they will need a proof of what they have written so all you need to do is take a screenshot and send it to that social media site and they will deal with it right and then talk to the school that your child attends because sometimes it's not only isolated to the the social media site it could even be people that they know already in school that is, you know, bullying them on the social media. That's one aspect. Then again, because everyone is now looking at the internet online, no one is even watching TV anymore. Even if they want to watch a TV, it's also online. You can watch TV online, you can watch anything and everything online. So the parents should check the sites the children watch on daily basis check the children's site and monitor their browsing and mail content periodically there is a lot of cyber bullying and they have to be cyber safe cyber aware and cyber savvy cyber the new cyber savvy or rather being cyber savvy this time around is the new don't talk to strangers because if they are not cyber safe or cyber aware they might give out personal information like their address their name date of birth uh, yes which is how old they are address of where they are and communicate with these people so when their parents are not even around they might come there and pick them up and that's it so you need to be cyber aware cyber safe and be cyber savvy which is the new don't talk to strangers right so on this note i will be stopping the show of today and i'm glad or i'm rather i believe that you you would have actually gained something from today's topic it's a serious one bullying please to the bullies stop it stop it it is wrong. What is wrong is wrong. Thank you guys. Stay blessed.